Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Worthing for International Birdman 2014. Good luck to everyone! Oh yay! Oh yay! Any more flyers for costume judging? <laughs> Make some noise from the beach. Come on, Sally Haley. What well on Sally? What is the realistic the view here you have, are this actually gonna gonna fly? Do you think you're gonna make some distance here? I just hope I get off safely, to be honest. Round of applause from the beach then. He needs your support, Worthing. <laughs> this is Edward Ling, our first Leonardo flyer. Is that bamboo? Is it, is it bamboo? Is it a dare? Is it an aspiration of yours to be here? Tell me why. Uh, it's a dare and good laugh. moment I can't see gaffer tape anywhere on this so um, obviously quite a professional structure. I well, um, uh, really concentrated and took my time to build this one in fact I have two craft for today one for tomorrow uh, in case this one gets destroyed on impact. Here he goes then! Wow it's going it's really working it's really working! <laughs> Wow, what a flight. Fantastic, and the craft is still intact. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Piper. She's enjoying her moment here, Dave. I think she is, making the most of it, definitely. Okay, that's Delamain, Tropical Birds, raising money for the National Autistic Society. Here she goes, make some noise, Worthy. Put it in the oven for my baby and me, and I'm gone. And bacon, I'm gone. This is where we see if those wings actually work. Ladies and gentlemen, Megan Pacey from Regatta, jumping in the Kingfisher class today. Well done. Gone. Who's going to catch those balloons on the pier? Hey! Who's Steve? Oh, my name is Ralph. And I'm ready. Ralph and ready. Yes, we are ugly sisters. And have you seen Cinderella anywhere? <laughs> okay, this is Joanne Williamson. Good luck, Joanne. It's my 80th birthday, so I thought, well, why not? Well, happy birthday to you, but and it's both your 80th birthdays. So what are the chances of that day? Oh. That's brilliant. What are guys? Now, I'm wondering if the uh, umbrellas have made any difference whatsoever. Let's make some noise. Tony's going. That's a good start. Could the record be on? Could the record be on? He's going all the way. He's going all the way. I don't believe it. He's got the 10,000. Oh, my God. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you.
absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Let's make some noise worthy. Out he goes. Oh, wow, he's come, he's come up and under. Not a bad flight, not a bad flight at all. So what's happening here then? Ron is just waiting for that wind speed to pick up. Five, six knots, five, six knots. He's after eight knots. He wants the same conditions that Tony had. Eight knots. Here he goes, make some noise. Could we see this record? perfect. The run, the takeoff, the kite felt brilliant. I felt really switched on. Tony's flight was inspirational. It was unbelievable. He's had a lot on. He's been building a, a, a brilliant craft for the Leonardo. And to do the flight that he did with that hang glider was amazing. Got up there, the wind was four or five knots, four or five knots. And then my friends, Diggy, Kevin, he says, the wind's getting up, getting up, six, eight, six, eight knots. And as soon as I heard him say, eight knots, that's what Tony had, yes. I went with eight knots. And when I got off and I got airborne, the kite just went into a little dive, it pulled out, and I knew this thing had tremendous speed. And when I got near the boy, for the very first time, many times I've seen that 100 meter jackpot line coming up, and I've just wanted to reach out and grab it. And it just didn't happen. You was going to Bogner, Ronnie. It was 106 on the Saturday last year, 141. Now 159 on the Saturday and a jackpot distance as well. I just can't believe it. I well feel done, like I've won the lottery. Ron, you've done it so many times. I feel like I've won the lottery. I really do. <laughs> you've actually done it now. Does that mean, are you going to be back again? <laughs> oh, I'll be doing this in my Zimmer frame. I'll have a Zimmer frame with wheels on. 200 be going over the 200. Top. <laughs> you need money to do these things, unfortunately. But what's so brilliant about these events is it's a win-win, win situation for everybody. Everybody wins. We raise lots of money for charity. The town traders and the town people benefit from the publicity and the market and everything. We win by taking part in the event and flying in such brilliant events and designing machines. Everyone wins, nobody loses. They're just great, great events to have. You know, and I hope more and more people, peer owners throughout the country, get switched on and get more events like this going. Because you, they can't lose, they can't lose, everybody wins.